ultimatums are never okay no. and this is quite possibly the worst one i've seen uh -huh. with my husband 30 year old baby not a 30 year old baby the husband is 30 <laughs> years old no idea no idea where this giant thing that takes up the size of my 72 inch screen goes yeah. I don't know. What are the, you going to do? Well, okay. like a giant tutu. I could see you do that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to buy you a maternity tutu. Bath at your attitude, <laughs> sir. You're through to 1-800-DRAMA. The show where you share your biggest dilemmas. And we help you navigate them. I'm Sharba. And I'm Jamie. Come join us as we help people figure out if they are the drama. Because sometimes you just need an outside perspective. And we can all expand our own mindsets along the way. Wait, am I the drama? So, Sharba... Red flag, green flag. People who send their food back in restaurants. Oh, interesting one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Um, <laughs> that is everything is contextual. Uh, that was what I was gonna say. I think I'm gonna green flag personally. Yeah. I love the fact, like, if there's something wrong, if there's like a hair in your food, if your chicken is pink, you, you pay for this food. You pay for the stamp experience. You are able to send it back if it's for the right reasons yeah. if you're like um excuse me uh my cilantro isn't green enough then i'm like um there bin. is one two few green beans on my plate <laughs> then you know like if obviously. you're being a karen about it yeah. red flag yes if it's because there's something wrong with your food that you're paying for mm -hmm. green flag with a an extra brownie badge because even though it's a green flag i could never i can't <laughs> i can't do it i honestly cannot do it i I think sometimes I've I've done it once for you. You were really unhappy in a restaurant because your chicken was literally pink. And I was like, no, no, this is like really not acceptable. So I was like, I'm so sorry. But I was like the most like... You apologised to them. Yeah, I was just like, I, 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 I'm so sorry for causing you inconvenience. I'm sorry that I have to this send this plate of food poisoning back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, would you. Would you be a dear, please? I, I really, really do not mean to be that person. <laughs> but they did. Yeah, um, and they were fine. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, yeah, it hurts me. It hurts me. It's right. You should do it. But it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Generally clean. clean. Green flag. Yeah, yeah. A revenge party. A party that, that ends with somebody's head on a spike. Ba, 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 ba. I'm so obsessed with the New Mean Girls soundtrack. No, me too. I know it's like not the most incredible film, but... No, I love the music. Yeah, it's very good. I want to go see it live, like on stage. I really like the song Apex Predator. Uh -huh, that I is the best it's, one. It's, it's constantly stuck in my head. And there's somebody who joins us on Twitch and they're called Apex Potato. And every time I hear the song Apex Predator, my head goes, Apex Potato. <laughs> It just wow. doesn't even fit the same the same. No, it, like, that sounded rhythm. terrible. Apex potato. That is not how you say potato. I know, I know. Potato. Potato. <laughs> it's just it has to do with predator, you know? So uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, on the subject of music, yes. slight tiny update. I do have a new song out. <gasps> just put She's out got there. no music. It's a, a shameless plug. Who would I be? Oh my god. Um yeah, if you want to listen to my new song, my girlfriend is out on Spotify and all of the other music listening platforms if you type in Sharba. Yes. Again, that is called My Girlfriend. <laughs> okay, just to clarify. Oh, no, that wasn't Shade. That was to clarify what it was called. <laughs> not about Jamie, obviously. Oh, yeah, definitely not about me. I'm kind of nervous about the reception of this one, because I think sometimes people are like, they, they assume that all the songs I mean, that you write must be about your partner. Magically, you are allowed to write about other people and events <laughs> other than the love of your life. And not saying this is what it is, but songwriters also often write from not their point of view, too. Uh, I feel like yes. people really forget that yeah. a lot. That is very true. Yeah. But congratulations, new music. Whee! Thank you. Thank you very much. It's funny because my super glue song is about a super traumatic relationship. And everyone's like, oh, Jamie's your superman. I'm like, yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this song. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. All right. With that out of the way, are you ready to go fishing? Don't do it. Drama. Assholes. Assholes. Drama. Let's go. Drama. Assholes. Oh, drama. Am I the drama for refusing to use the presents my mother-in-law gets me? Ooh. What are these presents I to know. use? I know, my head went somewhere dodged. Kinky. I know, it's, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> Very <All right>. wrong. <laughs> Wake up, Sharma. <laughs> okay. My mother-in-law buys me a lot of gifts, even though I'm an adult, 30-year-old woman. I don't see the problem in that. Yeah. <laughs> when you turn 18, age. no more gifts. <laughs> she gets me Christmas gifts, birthday, and sends just because gifts throughout the year. Oh, I feel like my parents do this as well. They do. Though, yeah. I, I, I love your parents so much. This is not shade at all. <gasps> I 
can tell as well when they're doing it because they're feeling particularly guilty, like they haven't seen us in a while. Yeah. Even though it's not their fault. I'm like, you don't need yeah. to send something. Have a dozen donuts just for the tip. <laughs> that's so it's, sweet. It is though. very cute. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. She does the same for my husband, who's 31. The problem is almost none of these gifts are our style. Aww. Okay. Mother-in-law and father-in-law either get us gifts that they would personally use, like home decor, MLM gifts? What's MLM? Multi-level marketing, Shabba. Like, um, Sensi. Yes. Or, um... Avon. Is that the one where you get the yeah. thingy in the post and the thingy I, in the... In the thingy in the post and the thingy in the post and the post and the, the post thingy, thingy in the makeup. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that when a family member or a friend starts doing, you're just like, oh, no, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Not to be disrespectful to people who want to do that kind of thing, but it is just a lot of like... There is always an unordinate amount of pressure mm-hmm. for your local community to prop you up. I remember my mum did this once. <gasps> this is ages ago. For Tupperware. Oh, no. And I was like, well, to be fair, Asians and Tupperware are a good shout. Do you know what I mean? Did but she do well? Asians and bargaining are also a good shout, oh. which made that kind of tricky. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I think it was like a one-off thing. Right. Maybe we went to an event. It wasn't my mum doing it. I, th- I thought it was really interesting, but really odd. And then I was like... Did you go to a Tupperware party? I think I did, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, and I just remember, like, people... Because everyone kind of bad mouths on the side. You mm. pick up things when you're a kid. People don't think that you can hear things as a kid. No, kids but I get heard, it. And there was so much shade. I was like, mate, this person's throwing you a party and you're just being so shady. But now I'm grown up, I realise that it's because they were feeling some sort of pressure. It's like, this, this is such a digression. It's like when I was in primary school and it was the day off because you had to do the ballot voting yeah. for the... Um, the, the the general election and so my mum was like you're not going to school today but you do need to accompany me because I have to do this thing and I looked at the piece of paper and it said Lib Dem party and I think I was just like why can't I be involved in the party I was Aww. so mad I was like school is shut for a party and I can't go so um yeah kids are stupid but well we, we, were. we grow up and we understand that <laughs> thank you <laughs> All right, carry on. Done. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you weren't stupid. <laughs> Mother-in-law is heavily involved in beauty companies and always pushing us to join yeah. all products from her sister's pottery business. Oh. Okay. We have about 12 mugs from oh. that business and way too many plates. <laughs> Whilst I get that she's trying to support her sister, the pottery doesn't match our home at all and it wasn't just a one-time gift. Oh dear, I yeah. Can see, I, I can, can see, see why the this is annoying. Like, even just 12 mugs, let alone the way too many plates. Who wants 12 mugs? Who owns 12 mugs? Big tea drinkers. I just, whoa, whoa. For home decor items, they buy us paintings from a specific artist that they like. Mm. Our home is pretty modern, but this artist is country watercolour. Oh no. That, I, I, I cannot think of two more opposite spectrum ends. Oh dear. We have a few massive pictures <laughs> that my husband will hang up when they visit and then take down when they leave. They live 12 hours away. This is reminding me of Emily from the Gilmore Girls because she hangs up all her mother in law like, stuff. Quick, and like, hurry. <laughs> yeah. Get yeah. the glass vase out. Yeah. We've only been together for five years and I'm not really seeing an end in sight. If anything, it's gotten worse since we've had our daughter six oh. months ago. Now we have a bunch of baby stuff that I really didn't want and that isn't my style. We have a huge stuffed bear in the nursery tons of disney baby clothing and of course country artwork for the nursery too oh my god honestly i could see this being your mum when we have kids this will not be my mum the reason being i think when and i guess this is my like me kind of giving my judgment a little bit it gets to a point is generosity is lovely yeah but you need to be able to say that you don't like something it's unkind for you as well. We need to read on to see how it goes, but yeah. I just think it's unkind as well for you to, if you're just, if you're constantly like, thank you so much, this is so nice, and mm. you don't provide any feedback, how is someone going to know? Mm. You know? So that that's what I'm thinking. And with my mum, I do think I'm very good. I never used to be, you, but yeah. I'm very good at being like, thank you so much, this isn't my style, and I don't want it to go to waste. Sure. I, yeah, I still but think she's you. gonna show up with bags of baby stuff that she's acquired somehow because <laughs> we've seen her do that. Um, I know they're trying to be generous in theory, but it sometimes feels like they're gifting what they like without taking our tastes into consideration, which right. is an odd way of gift giving. I will, I will. Say. Yeah, 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Whenever they visit, they're constantly asking about specific items where they are expecting them to be in use. Oh my gosh, it's not like you can be like, oh yeah, that that 11th plate that you got us smashed. <clears throat> yeah, and it's actually in a charity shop somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I told my husband that I'm done using the stuff and I want to donate whatever we don't like. Mm. He got upset and said it's going to cause problems and it'd be easier to just put out the main items to keep them happy. I really disagree because I don't want to keep setting this precedent. Am I the drama this is another example there's a lot of, of finger wagging there yes Jamie. You're like, yes gang, gang, gang. for anyone just listening i'm <laughs> wagging my finger partially at the husband and i'm not saying this happens all the time but that there is a pattern of men not being able to stand up to their mothers yeah right such a thing and it's like I, I I can appreciate the difficulty of not wanting to hurt your mum's feelings, not doing that before, blah, blah, blah. Maybe he does kind of share the same taste as his parents in some ways and he's not as fussed about it. Mm-hmm. But either way, if you told me, which you have done, I really don't like this thing that we've been given by X person, I'm like, okay, sure. And I think we are quite honest most of the time with people close to us if we don't like gifts. Yeah, uh- you know, if it's a one-off, it's I'll fine. love it. There's yeah. something, there's one gift that I have in mind I'm not going to name and shame because I don't want, actually there's two gifts that I have in mind. Oh, I'm not going to name and shame because I don't want anyone to feel bad just in case they happen to listen to this. I'm pretty sure they don't. But there is something that was given to us for a very specific moment that wasn't like a normal milestone, but was a really meaningful milestone from that person. Yeah. And objectively, it's very ugly. I don't remember Both what this is. Both of these things are very, very ugly. But, I'm so utterly in love with them, <laughs> not because of what they are, but because somebody th- thought to give at this time. Uh, and I was okay. like, these hold such a special place in my heart mm-hmm. that it, 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 they kind of became pugs to me. They're so ugly. <laughs> they were cute. <laughs> the intention turned it into one of those really ugly Christmas okay. sweaters. That you actually love. Yeah. Yeah. And so like for moments like that, fine. But if it was an ongoing thing yeah that's when i'd be like just like every birthday mm-hmm. getting a really ugly mug that doesn't suit your taste and then being expected to serve coffee in that mug every time your parents-in-law come over and i think there's nice ways pressure. to say it right you, mm. you know like it, I, for me it was clothes i used to be gifted a lot of clothes and i was like thank you so much this is unbelievably sweet of you but i do just need to say like i'm not very likely to wear this and i so appreciate mm. your efforts but I just wanted to let you know that going forward, like clothes are maybe not the best gift idea for me because I want to make sure yeah. that it's appreciated and not wasted. And very diplomatic way of saying it's it. It's just a very cut, like it's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. Like you can still appreciate something and mm-hmm. not appreciate something. <laughs> you can appreciate the sentiment whilst not liking the thing. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I also question, I, I hear you about like husbands and their mother in laws, but. No, men and their mothers. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Husbands and their mothers, so your yeah. mother-in-laws. But what about the other way? Do you think that if it was OP's mum, that mm. she would be less forgiving? Uh, less not forgiving. Oh, I more think, forgiving. I think that definitely... Oh, if it was... Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Is it is it less so that it's a gendered thing and more just because it's his parents? I have no idea. In our relationship, it's not a thing it's it's the gift it's not the giver that you will comment on like you make it sound like i'm so te- like oh, so judging with gifts no you're actually not it's just like you okay you don't go oh i need to protect my mum's feelings but your mum i'll tell them if i don't like a gift i yeah, don't want yeah, yeah. ugly gifts from your parents but i'll take ugly gifts from my parents you're just kind of standard of like if i don't like something and i don't want someone to waste their money on it mm-hmm. i will let them know if i'm not going to use it yeah like alcohol yeah. we don't drink and the amount of times that people buy us alcohol yeah. and we're like, thank you so much, keep it. Or, yeah. you know, like, it, it's, it's not that we don't appreciate it, we super duper appreciate it, it's just we it's going to be wasted it. on us. Yeah. So I would so love it if you had a good time with it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm just imagining someone having a bubble bath with a bottle of wine now. <laughs> As in not just drinking it, like actually, you know. Yeah, and then they know not to get you any alcohol going forward. Yeah. Like, isn't that better than the gifts that they do get you as good? Yeah, I think it's a kindness to let people know gently. Like, uh, honesty, but with that kindness, with that, like, appreciating what they've done and letting them know gently that it's not right for you. I did see something online about this, and I wish I could remember the phrase, but they were like, truth without warmth. Truth without kindness is um, cruelty. 
tr- tr- truth without me. warmth is cruelty. Yeah. Truth, yeah, like with love, or truth with kindness is love. Yeah. And it's so true because even away from this, like, I just think if you can't be honest with the people that you love, you don't have uh, the healthiest of relationships. Something needs to be, like, something is happening. It's, I'm not judging. I'm not like, it, it's very often that we can't be truthful to the people that we love. Yeah. Um, But I just feel like, that means that there's a level of unsafetiness in that relationship that doesn't that neither of you deserve to be there. I'm sure yeah. that both of you would feel a lot happier if you felt like you could be honest with each other, but it does take a very intentional effort and a big like leap of faith, right? Yeah. To feel safe enough to do that and know that it's going to be accommodated in a way that isn't the people aren't going to bite your head off. And with this one, it is for me. It's like if it was a one-off thing, like every so often they sent a gift that was like oh thanks yeah then like maybe just leave it because maybe then it, that's not worth causing drama yeah but if it's constant and this you is have a to say lot something of gifts, it sounds it? like a lot of money as well like it sounds like a lot of compensation because they live so far away as well Oh, maybe uh, and like totally fine if you want to gift but also th- i think it comes to a point where you have to realize like if it's not your house you can't like you, maybe they're just like seeing these things go and then disappear but they're not realising just how oversaturated someone's mm. belongings are because, like, there's only so many mugs you can hold in a oh, damn yeah. cupboard. I wouldn't want 12 mugs. They've given them one mug for every hour they live away. If you're not th- <laughs> if you're not thinking about these things, it may just be that they haven't thought about it yeah. and therefore saying, look, so appreciate it, but maybe we just do calls, you know? Yeah. Let's do video calls. You don't have to keep Let's sending little, us stuff. A little Zoom party. Because we're running out of space, you know? Yeah. So, so. verdict? Verdict. Not the drama. Not the drama. The husband is the big drama for me. The... Oh, oh hello, Prawn. I think Prawn agreed. Yeah. Prawn, our cat, just meowed in agreement. I... Yeah, because... Yeah. I think I think with the context we've been given, it sounds like the husband might be a bit of drama here yeah. by not wanting to be honest with his parents. I would say so. So, yeah. Very OP, cool. not the drama. Should we see what some other people have to say? Let's do it. Could you ask them to maybe set up a college fund for your child oh. to say instead of gifts for yourself or your hubby, you'd really appreciate them donating to the college fund? That's quite a good idea. I love that. Someone else says, start getting rid of stuff piece by piece. When they ask where a specific <laughs> missing item has gone, say you don't know. You've been looking for it and don't know where it's gone. I, d- I really disagree with this. No, this is yeah. like the lying that's just going to get you tangled it's up. funny, like, just be but honest. don't do it. <laughs> Could you imagine this massive painting on your wall? <laughs> Just be like, no idea. No idea where this giant thing that takes up the size of my 72 inch screen goes, yeah. I don't know. You're the drama. Just from your tone, that gifts should match your aesthetic. Your husband tries to accommodate his parents' good intentions. You seem entitled to only accept gift acceptable to you. Bath. She's been putting Ooh. up with it for five years, has 12 mugs, multiple very large paintings, a massive teddy bear, Disney coat. Like, the amount of stuff that they have gifted in just a short amount of time, that's not just somebody being, oh, this one, two, maybe three gifts don't really fit my aesthetic, so therefore stop. She's not doing that at all. She's been putting up with this for a long time and having a lot of unnecessary stuff come into her house. This comment has annoyed me. I, I strongly, can tell. <laughs> I hard disagree with this because that was that's not the tone I got from OP at all. That it was like, just because it doesn't fit my aesthetic, I don't want any gifts. It was just a, there is so much stuff. And also, what's wrong if it doesn't fit your aesthetic to let people know? Why do you want people to waste their money? Why should, like, do you not think it's a weird sense of, like gift giving is supposed to be from the heart for the person. You shouldn't be thinking of buying things for yourself mm. and then gifting them like, it's if it doesn't fit if someone doesn't like it it's not wrong of like you're, you're making people sound like it's wrong for someone to not like something yeah yeah this is the type of person you'd never want to tell that you don't like a gift from them because then you'll just have a big fallout this is the kind of person that i wouldn't have in my life especially like <laughs> just no literally like, I, I wouldn't be buying you gifts anywhere i wouldn't be seeing you especially like saying things like bath like who are you there's this place is <laughs> it's for forum it's a, it's a forum for advice and then you're going to be, like, so mean to people like that. No. Not Bleh. acceptable. Bath. Bath at your attitude, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right. Should we move on? Yes. Let's go fishing for another drama. asshole. <laughs> Am I the drama for announcing my pregnancy? I think there needs to be more context. I was like, how is this dramatic? If this is dramatic, people are being the drama every single freaking day. Doesn't everyone announce their pregnancy at some point? <laughs> Could you imagine, like, oh, this baby, yeah, <clears throat> it just... Uh, <clears throat> okay, go you for just it. show up one day nine months pregnant, hello. 
<laughs> I've been hiding something. No, it's, it's, it, don't you know? It's a faux pas to say that you're pregnant. Could you imagine? All right, let's see. Let's see what. Also, I do realise that some people hide it for as long as they can. But yes, there's. Okay. <laughs> I'm a 28 year old woman. I'm pregnant with my husband, 30 year old's baby. Not a 30 year old baby, the husband is 30 <laughs> years old. I have a sister, 30 years old, who's been trying to get pregnant for the past five years. This has resulted in three miscarriages and a stillborn. Oh. That is. That's. Mm, that's not really hard fun. that yeah oh dear i now understand the context of why it might be a faux pas let's see where it goes okay when i found out i was pregnant i made sure not to tell my sister since she was grieving her stillborn who has passed around a year ago i told my parents and husband's parents and they were overjoyed out of respect for my sister i didn't have a baby shower or gender reveal or any big ceremony oh, it just sounds like lunch. you're being so like sensitive yes i i can see that she's trying to work around her Absolutely. sister's grief yeah yeah for sure just a lunch where I announced the pregnancy to close friends and family and we all agreed to not tell my sister until we felt like she was ready to know. Ooh. That is an interesting concept though because I appreciate working around someone's grief but there is a very, very set time limit <laughs> on yep. a pregnancy yep. and when you you will be in control of people knowing you're pregnant. You can't stop that egg timer. That's you just can't. going. It's just going. Literal egg timer. <laughs> but also, I, uh, something's making me feel a bit funny about this dinner because they were like, I didn't have a baby shower. I didn't do a gender reveal, but I did do a lunch where I announced it with close friends and family, but not her. So essentially what you're saying is you did have a baby that, shower. Isn't that like, yeah, you just maybe You just didn't invite gifts. the sister. Yeah. That's so, um, mm, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like it's fine to feel like she's not ready to know and to not tell her. If you, but that has to be your decision. And then when you're telling other people, you just open the risk factor of so many other people yeah. potentially telling her. And to for now you're sort of ostracizing her for her to be the last person to know, which also yeah. doesn't feel great. I'm also like, would we have a lunch? I'd just kind of be like, hey. Um, baby. <laughs> Baby incoming. <laughs> hey, anything is a good opportunity for takeout or good food. Yeah. I would totally milk it for a lunch. I didn't sure. know that baby shower was really a thing. But yeah, I'd okay, do it. Okay, fair. <laughs> Give me food. Reading on. <laughs> Anyways, I'm now 34 weeks pregnant. That's oh, very man. far along. Wow. I think it's like 39 weeks is full term, isn't it? How many it? months is 34 weeks? I, 30, I that, that would be about eight. Just oh, under Jesus. eight. Oh, Jesus. And I haven't seen my sister in over six months. Mm. She called me the other day to tell me she was three months <gasps> pregnant and oh. things had been going well so far. Oh, yay. Oh, I congratulated her and she invited me to her house for dinner. I discussed this with my parents and husband and we decided it was time to tell her. I mean, not Now, this funny. is awkward. <laughs> I don't think it was a decision. You just have to. <laughs> what are the... you going to do? Wear, okay. like, a giant tutu? I was... <laughs> I could see you do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy you a maternity tutu. Can I buy you a maternity tutu? You can buy a maternity tutu. For you, not for me. <laughs> Don't comment. I, yeah, I'm feeling like if I were the sister, I'd be like, the heck didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't really be like, snap. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. I went to her house for dinner this weekend, and when she let me in, she freaked out. You didn't even tell her before she saw you. <laughs> this is no. why we can't have nice things, okay? Oh, okay, no, this has just got very weird. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, she asked me if I was pregnant, <laughs> and I said I was. Jamie, This Jamie, is like a sitcom. I am, I am laughing at <laughs> sheer awkwardness. What why? is this? Why wouldn't you say, hey, sis, before we meet up, I have something to tell you. You're just like, ta-da. This has gone about all wrong. Do you know what I would have done? Oh. Before your baby shower that you clearly wanted to have, so you essentially had it anyway, it was before that that you should have told her. Yeah. You should have said, hey, I need to let you know something, and I'm not expecting you to be joyous or happy. I'm expecting you to have so many feelings, and I want to give you time. So, like, we can chat, or if you want, you can go away and process these feelings, and I will be here for you. I am pregnant and I am happy. Like, there is a duality in the situation. I am happy and I'm also really understanding of your position. Yeah. And I'm going to be having a baby shower and you do not need to come. And if you do come, you do not need to be happy for me. Like, I will accommodate you, but 
I wanted you to be the first person yeah. to know in a way the way you could process it. That would have been a much better approach. What there, the there's frick? Like, there, there were good intentions and just absolutely horrendously awful execution. This, this is the definition of hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. Every step has just gotten so wrong. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a sitcom where things get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. It's like that, that thing where Mr. Bean and the little bee and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah. But it's like... <sighs> As well, I, I sorry, I had a thought. Sorry, like, I've lost my bean. <laughs> it's because I said no, it's Mr. not bean. your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> um, it was not fully formed anyway. It, but it's like, um, oh yeah, from the the sister's perspective, as in OP's sister, yeah. OP has made an assumption about the sister's reaction, and an assumption that yes, the sister has a right to have space for her guilt, uh, her guilt, not her guilt, her grief and her trauma, mm. but well, it no, doesn't. It's OP's it, guilt it doesn't stop other people from living their lives and progressing forward in their lives Absolutely. and having babies. There can be an understanding that this is incredibly difficult for you, sister, but I am pregnant and I, that's not something I can, you know, this is something I want in my life, blah, blah, blah. In a very, I'm going to say this in such a, like a, a grey way, because, I, yeah, I feel like you've re- you can relate to something similar to this. In, uh, like not in this situation but you've gone through something relatively similar i never want to be pregnant. <laughs> but my point is like when somebody else does something that you maybe want to feel a certain way about like y- there is always an understanding of look it's gonna happen yeah you, the world can't stop yeah and you can feel some kind of way and you're entitled to have that space and feel that kind of but way. But it doesn't stop other people from living their lives. And it also doesn't stop other people. You're right. It's like, oh, I didn't invite you to a party because I knew this other person was there and you didn't want to speak with them. No, yeah. that's that's my decision to make. Yeah. You don't make that decision for me. I feel you. I yeah. Because, like, whether you told her at three months or eight months, she's probably going to be upset regardless. The egg or... timer's still set for nine, babe. Yeah. That doesn't change. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, let's read right. on. Oh, my God, there's more. So we got to the bit where the she sister was freaked out. She started sobbing. She was absolutely hysterical. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Her husband took her in to calm her down, and we decided to leave. She texted me on Monday saying that it was selfish that I was going to have my baby first. I don't think she can control that. <sighs> and my parents would be more focused on me than her. She accused me of being cruel <sighs> and getting pregnant just to upset her. Oh, my God. Right. Oh my god. Okay. Before this, before this, I was like, OP, you are the biggest drama. Now... Maybe OP knew this would be the reaction. Even so, though, even if you knew, like, if this is the kind of person that you feel like you'll be dealing with, even if it's not them like that all the time, but you think in a moment of grief they will not be themselves, yeah. she still deserved to know sooner. Oh, yeah, and it would have made it so much easier because the difficulty is now, she is also pregnant but five months behind you. There, there is going to be that feeling. There shouldn't be, but the, the like, this feeling seemingly of rivalry, rivalry like, and competitiveness. And loses her baby? Yeah. There'll be so much pressure. Yeah, it, it became infinitely oh. more awkward when the sister got pregnant. Anyway, she said she would ask our parents to choose between us. Oh, no. Ultimatums are never okay. No. And this is quite possibly the worst one I've seen. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Jesus. This was the last straw for me. This was my first pregnancy and I wanted to do things like a baby shower and all, but I, mean, I didn't. I mean, you kind of did. Because I knew it would hurt my sister. But again, you kind of did. I called her a selfish, mean <laughs> and blocked her. Her husband <laughs> called me to tell me she was inconsolable because her own sister was trying to upstage her and her baby. <sighs> Our mum isn't taking sides but my dad and husband are on my side okay can i just say wow. this is not upstaging and the no. fact that like the husband as well who took her in to console her i was like uh, totally fine like be there to support she's in a she's in a tricky place obviously she doesn't want to host a dinner right now op you absolute nugget for yeah. not priming your sister beforehand but also now to be like oh you're trying to upstage her i'm sorry you have a you, you're pregnant yeah you're pregnant move on Oh my god, I'm st- I'm so stressed. I I'm can, so stressed at this situation. I can see. I'm not. I'm not defending the sister at all. But what I can see is how, if there were these feelings of rivalry between the sisters, it would be made so much worse by just having your sister show up heavily pregnant, having not told you. That's gonna like prime you so hard yeah. for this kind of response. It there's no build up there. There's just a I'm gonna have a baby in a month. <sighs> 
Wow. Okay, a few of my cousins reached out to me calling me names and it made me wonder if I'm in the Why wrong. Why does everybody know about this? This is a sign of a messy family for me as yeah. well. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know that things are so messy when everybody gets involved. When people are like, oh, and now I'm hearing from everyone. No, they shouldn't be knowing. What? The, no. The... <laughs> what is going on? This is so uncomfortable. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like an AI script <laughs> or generated of a telenovela episode. Do you know what I mean? It is so dramatic. Are you ready for verdict? Yeah. Okay. Ready? All right, hang on. So am I the drama for announcing my pregnancy? My sister's been in therapy for the past couple of years. Okay. Okay, sure. All right. Three, two, one. Everyone Everybody sucks. sucks here. Yeah. yeah. But... Oh my gosh. The, the, you, you started this journey with good intentions that just went incredibly wrong. And it doesn't excuse you from being part of the drama. But the sister... That reaction is just, like, drama times a thousand. I wonder. I, I understand where the sister's head is coming from. And I know that she's, like, the way that she'd be thinking. I, I don't understand why she's thinking the way she's thinking. Mm. I can understand how grief and shock could make somebody be so irrational. I've been in that kind of headspace before. Yes. I do strongly, strongly think, though, that this reaction would not have been this bad if, if... it was done significantly oh, earlier. Yeah. One, before she was pregnant. Two, which I guess you can't time, but you know, like, you had the opportunity to. Yeah. And three, didn't literally show up at her door when she was trying oh. to do her pregnancy announcement. Yeah. Not knowing that you were literally about to pop. Yeah. Like, why on earth would you think that that was a good idea? That's actually a really good point. You could see why there would be... I mean, I for me, it would be momentary. In sense. Yeah, in that moment, but yeah. not generally in life and to parents. It would just be a, I invited you to dinner because to I'm pregnant. My pregnancy. You didn't tell me and you show up about to pop. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I would I can see I would be annoyed if I, I, I were would the be sister. Hurt. Yeah. I would be really hurt to be yeah. like what my thing would be like but again like obviously we're different people. For me it'd be like why the hell didn't you tell me sooner? I get it that you're trying to protect my feelings in some ways but you've just made me sound like a total kook in front of everybody who now knows and I didn't know yeah. and now I don't have any time to process it. Do you know what I mean? Like I would be happy for you why hide it? I mean, maybe she wouldn't have been happy for her. I think, I, I honestly believe that, th like, okay, as dramatic... Give I, I people think this time is one of the, to adjust. Yes, I do think this is one of the most dramatic thing, one of the most dramatic, like, posts we've ever seen. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I still believe that there's a very high chance of it being better. I think when you both have kids, I'm so... I touch wood. Oi. But um, the, both pregnancies go really well. I can so see you being, like, really cute aunts to each other's kids. The kids are going to get on so well. This is all wonderful. Mm. But, oh my god, I, just, I, I can't go <laughs> over it. I'm sorry, I'm just, I can't go no, over it. No, it's messy. It's messy, man. Do you it's see so what, messy. Do you see what other people have to say? Yeah. Everyone sucks here. Her way more than you. I do agree with, yeah. Yeah, with the reaction. Sure. Her reaction is somewhat understandable, but very harsh and selfish. Mm. But how in the world did you think just showing up eight months pregnant is the best way to let her know? Yeah. You did several things to be respectful, but in my opinion, make a bad decision in the way that you told her. Yeah, I think that sums it up really well. Mm. Mm, the maybe somewhat understandable it's like I can see where some elements of that come in specifically with the way the sister found out OP was pregnant yeah no I understand but that but it too. was incredibly harsh and and, and a, a very bizarre reaction especially to go so far as to be like mum dad pick between us that's yeah, no, really that's, that's, that's really horrific no. yeah no what I'm questioning is that you did several things to be respectful to her I think you did several things to try to be respectful to her but then you ended up essentially just doing them anyway like I, i'm not i'm not letting that go you had a baby shower you didn't invite your sister and that kind of makes it worse it, like you can't be like oh look at me so and mighty i'm so sad i didn't get to do a gender reveal i didn't get to do a baby shower when you literally did do a baby shower and also that was your decision you can't put that on someone who doesn't know that, that it was even a thing yeah. if she told you you can't have one yeah, yeah. then that would be a different story Absolutely. but making that decision yourself and and yeah and putting... now being like oh look at me being all like heroic in this situation where i then 
Yeah, no. They're both, <laughs> just, both drama. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And OP can't get mad for being a martyr and not having a shower or a gender there reveal because her sister didn't ask her to give up any of that. Yes. It would have been so much more respectful to let the sister know privately at the beginning, give her space to have her feelings. This All is exactly this. what you were saying. Let her know things are happening, but if they're too difficult for her, there is no expectation for her to attend or participate in any of it. Oh my this God. This was handled so, so, so poorly. Commenter. So poorly. Can we be best friends? Yeah. I, I, yes, 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 big yes. If <laughs> someone's got an information request, how did you really think showing up damn near about to pop was gonna go? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was never gonna go well. No, really, no. really no. Because even if, even if everything was like totally wonderful and happy days between the sisters and there was no trauma or grief going on, someone would be upset if you showed up just eight months pregnant. For sure. Oh my God. Like why? All right, one more. Am I the drama for what I said to my boyfriend after what he said to me? Oh. This sounds simultaneously like it could be super dramatic or like a, one of those childhood super school chill. issues. He said and then she said and then mummy and then... And then he stole my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's so adorable. I, I've never seen a post start with hi and I'm automatically on obese I'm, I'm always <laughs> waiting for like the to whom it may concern. <laughs> The other night, I, a 25-year-old woman, had a shower and noticed a lump in my breast. Oh, oh. this is serious. Mm -hmm. I was freaking out as my family has a history of breast cancer. Totally understandable. Mm -hmm. When my boyfriend, 32, got home, I said to him I was worried because I found a lump and I asked him to feel it. He said he couldn't feel anything, so I was feeling to show him where to feel for it. And he said to me, oh God, oh God. He said mm. to me, God. It's so hot when you feel yourself. Well, that's not reading the room, is it? <laughs> okay, a moment of silence for the cringe. And we move on. I felt hurt and angry at him saying that because it felt like he cared more about his pee-pee pee -pee than he did me. After he said that, I just got my things and I left because I didn't want to be around him. When I came back, I told him that we'll need to have a talk and reconsider being in a relationship together. Oh... He thinks I'm overreacting and overthinking what he said and that he loves me and cares about me. Am I the drama for saying this to him? Oh. There is also an edit. Mm -hmm. So let's just read that. We've been dating for four years and he knew about my family's history of cancer. I've been staying with my parents whilst it's going on and I'm stressed out about it. The ultrasound showed it as a complex cyst and I'm getting a biopsy next week. Right. Okay, hang on. I, I, whilst that edit was somewhat useful in understanding the context that you've been dating and he knew about your history of cancer, I don't think it's very fair at all to base his reaction on whether or not it ends up being cancer. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's got nothing uh, yeah, to do with it. Yeah, I see it. what you mean. So I'm going to yeah. try and erase that from my brain. Not that there's anything conclusive anyway. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I really hope you're okay. Lovely OP. Oh, I feel like I'm going to say something really controversial. What? And what's oh, your opinion? Oh, no. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, my opinion is like uh, my insides just fully like scrunched up when I read like when you read what he'd said. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, dude, that is not the appropriate thing to say because of how she was feeling. But that's because but we know how she was maybe feeling. Maybe he didn't know. It, I, it's still a weird thing to say. Yeah. It is yeah. it, when somebody's like coming at you with like, oh my god, I think there's, there's like a medical thing medical and I'm examination. stressed. <laughs> And then it's also like a little bit stressful if you can feel something and somebody else is saying, I can't feel what you're feeling. And then you're like, oh my God, okay, let me find it for you then. We've done this. Yeah. There have been can, moments where we've been like, oh, I'm so nervous. It can feel a bit like, oh. Please help me. And yep. then for him to just, that it's, it's just completely contextually inappropriate, dude. Like that you should not have said that. Okay, can I just say something? I, I I want to first start by saying I absolutely agree with you. I a million percent agree with you. It was contextually inappropriate. However, if I'm, I need to be really honest, right? I'm a human being too. I could see myself doing this. A million percent, I could see myself doing this. I'm not saying it's right. I would call myself the, the drama in this situation. Right. But if you're not understanding where they're coming from, like, I find you so incredibly hot and attractive. Aww. And if you were like, hey, I need you to like check something for me down there. I'd be like, okay, you know, like, and then like, and then if you're like, dude, Shaba, I'm, I'm genuinely really nervous. I would be like, my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Of course, I will take this seriously. But yeah. to say that kind of comment, knowing the kind of couple that we are, I get it. I, I kind of get it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm trying to visualize it <laughs> with us. That's what I'm saying. And the situation, not so not knowing just how stressed you are, but knowing there's like a family history, which like, 
people can't remember every single detail all the time exactly. it can just be something that lapses from your brain also it's just like what i'm saying is like there are moments where sometimes you're just a little bit horny dude do you know what i mean like the vibes, and are, the just vibes different. are yeah and if someone else isn't it can feel a little there, there are moments in relationships like, like this where it's a little bit cringe and that's okay you have a moment of silence for the cringe and you move on you can have respectfully a, and consent a little surely. tiff like an argument of, of like course. dude the heck did you why what no like, wrong Jamie? Yeah. Solutions right now. Come yeah. on. And then Get him, him the being game. like, I'm so sorry. Look for the lump. Yeah. That was, I'm, I was just trying to lighten the mood or whatever. Yeah. Because he could or, have been coming at a place of joking or seriously, like, Yeah, Ooh. exactly. I, I wasn't thinking it to, like, lighten the mood. I was just thinking, you know, like, someone's just thinking, oh, there's a lump. And you're not feeling a lump as the partner. Yeah. So you're like, are you sure you're not just overreacting? Like, oh, and, and boobies. <laughs> if, if, yeah. If I were to make a comment along these lines in this same context, it would be to lighten the mood. You're and sure. that's that's my way that I would misread the room. It would be like joking inappropriately because I deal with stress by being humorous. <laughs> but also, like for, I think for me, it would mostly probably come from a place of appreciation. If my hormones are at a level where I'm just finding you attractive right now, and I'm like, I'm just not realizing that how serious this is for you, you know? Yeah. So, are you ready yeah. for a verdict? Yes. I just, I just feel like I'm gonna, because I feel like I'm gonna get ripped about this. I realize that what he's done is wrong. Mm. All I'm saying is people make mistakes, and I see that this is a mistake. So my verdict is everybody sucks. Oh here. yeah, everybody sucks. And I'm, I'm not gonna say him more than you or you more than him. I think his was. I, I can see that it was like small cheese because he just misread the room. Yeah. But you, OP, then being like, we need to break up that's a problem that makes... it's not a problem for me like it, fair enough if it was that big a deal for you but like to leave have you had a chat I feel like you really need yeah. to talk through it and it just feels like quite a big dramatic reaction clearly you've been triggered he didn't understand why and there's a health way, like, a healthy way to communicate I don't think ending the relationship feels like the most appropriate response yeah. right now yeah I think you're so right that, that it was a trigger for OP yeah and that's caused this reaction yeah. and that doesn't make it necessarily like just blowing it off to an overreaction it needs a conversation and it needs to be worked out but it does feel like an extreme step to take to be like right we're not going to be together anymore we we need to have this breakup talk you yeah know? Like, we need to talk about it because i don't think we could be unless, unless something else is going on yeah that's what i was gonna say unless like there have been signs where you're like which we don't know about and it's yeah. like you know what this guy really doesn't care about me this guy is really immature this guy doesn't take my feelings seriously and this is like the straw that breaks the camel's back yeah totally appreciate it could that. easily be this, yeah you're absolutely right he could have a very strong track record of showing he doesn't care yeah and then you're thinking holy hell if this is something that i need to go through i know you're not going to be the support that i need mm. even if it's not something that you're going through it's important to have support but there can be moments where i'm asking for support and you're not recognizing how serious that exactly. is exactly you're not yeah. recognizing that request because and, and that doesn't make you a because we're perfect yeah it just means that we're on different pages and mm. it's our job collectively to communicate in a way that puts us on the right page yeah everyone sucks though Oh, yeah, everyone sucks. Should we read oh, a couple comments? Yeah, I'm so intrigued. What do you? So is that your verdict? Everyone here? sucks. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm really intrigued. This man will drop you like a hot potato if you have to have surgery on your boobs, <laughs> or if you have to have to have chemo and lose your hair. Boys. His first reaction when you're worried and upset that you may have found the first stage of cancer is to loudly tell you it turns him on. He said it loud and clear. Your body is for my pleasure first and foremost. I think that completely strips away the context of a, a, a the dynamic between a couple. There could very easily yeah. be a track history of this guy not caring, being uncaring, saying the wrong thing and being hurtful. But based on the information we've been given, which wasn't suggested by OP that he does this a lot. Mm. It's just in this context. I, I don't think that that's that doesn't feel like where he was coming from. And I think it's a big stretch to then say, OK, this dude's going to drop you if something happens. Yeah, I feel like this is what OP has read from the situation. Mm -hmm. But three sides to every story, yours is the truth. Yeah, I'm not saying it's wrong for you to have read it this way. This could be true. Yeah, it really but... could be. But like, I just feel like this is this is a real this is a real stretch. I think if you had said, you know, like I'm really worried about this, and then he went, "Oh, don't be silly." Yeah, your boobs, boobs, boobs. Then I would get this. Yeah, it, it really depends on what his response was in that moment. Which if he was like, been given. "My bad," yeah, but you walked out. You didn't know. Yeah, or you haven't reported it. Oy, oy, oy. Mm. but he, since he has now said you know like come on let's talk about this 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 feels yeah 
Anyway, don't forget he doubled down with your overreacting. Yeah, I do think if somebody's triggered, it is flippant to just say, oh, you're overreacting. I totally There's agree. There's a conversation to be had. But that wasn't in the moment that he said you're overreacting. It it's was when after she said, and oh, we need to talk about breaking, breaking up. up. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, no, to be fair, no. And this is why he definitely sucks too. Mm. To to then say you're overreacting, I do think is is not right. Yeah. Clearly, this is really it, upset like, you. You need to apologize. Yeah. Yeah, say, like, I am so sorry. I, this was completely wrong of me. I read the room wrong. Because this is his bad. Yeah. This really is his bad. Yeah. He does need to take ownership for it and be like, I'm, I am so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, this commenter says, I'm so often amazed that people react defensively or even aggressively rather than acknowledge the other person. The boyfriend could have said, I hear you're upset. I gather my remark didn't land the way that I intended it. Ideally, he'd add an apology, but it isn't even necessary if his ego would stretch for that. Just keep comms open. I do think an apology is necessary. Mm. And I'd like, yeah, it's difficult to know if maybe that's what he would have said in the moment or not. Because yeah. that's, yeah, there's no information about what oh happened. Oh my goodness. Messy. It's, this has yeah, been a messy episode. It has been a messy episode. Oh, drama. If you enjoyed this episode, my loves, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing if you'd like to see more if you're on YouTube, or if you're listening to this on a podcast platform. Maybe think about giving us a rating. And you can go follow us over on IG at 1-800-DRAMA-POD. Or go and take a look at our website if you'd like to submit a drama of your own. Mm. Thanks again for joining, my loves. Be kind. Much love. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.